How's it going everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be going around to yard sales to answer the question, are yard sales dead? So stick around and let's see what we get to find today. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm sorry? Typically when it comes to yard sales with a bunch of kids stuff, I don't really look at a lot of it because not a lot of it is worth a lot of money. Mm. Thank you. I really liked those pictures, but I wasn't gonna spend that much money on them. They were 60 bucks and 75. Did you know that only a small portion of you guys are subscribed? So, if you could go ahead and subscribe right now, that'd really help me out. All right, let's get back to the video. So this was my first estate sale of the day. A nice little brick house over here. As I go into the kitchen, my eye gets caught by these pretty cool, almost deer antler-like knives over here. For some reason, I didn't end up picking them up, but listen to this sound. It's a sharp knife. Now I just go into the bathroom just to see if there's any sort of like perfumes, colognes, anything like that, because that's typically where they're hidden. And then I walk into this room and find this awesome painting. It's $40, but it's 25% off, so it's only $30. And I actually end up putting this in my living room. Can I leave this up here? Yes, you can um, over there somewhere. Okay, perfect. picked up this hat for a little bit. It didn't seem vintage to me, so I go ahead and put it back down. And then I go into the basement and it's full of just a bunch of different random stuff some old vintage tins and then they had thirty dollars on this joystick which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion moving on here to my second morning yard sale is it still morning i don't really see a lot outside of just the kids stuff So I thank them for their time and I just move on. Thank you. You too. But thankfully I didn't have to go very far for the next yard sale. Literally, I think their neighbor was having yard sale too. So I just take a quick little walk over there and see what they have. I briefly take a look at these Squishmallows over here. But I think that trend has died out. I don't think they're as popular as they once were. They've become over, oversold. And only a few of them are rare nowadays. I briefly take a look at these ornaments, but they're asking $3 a piece on each of them, and I don't think I'd be able to get much more than that out of my booth for them. You me take them up there? You me take them up there? I'll take them. I'll come back and get them. Okay, that's, okay. Okay. 
Aquí soy yo, con salvo de mal. These two little chalices catch my eye, so I take a look at them, but they're asking $10 for the pair. Once again, I don't think there's enough money left for me to make money if I buy those. This guy just had a bunch of tools and stuff, but he was actually pretty fun to talk to. How Morning. You? Good, how you doing? Very good. Oh, are you filming? Yeah, I got a little vlog that I just do. I, cool. do. I go to a bunch of estate sales and yard sales and stuff, so. Is this one of those things that the squirrels eat out of? Is that what I that is? I have no idea what that is. Uh, uh, I, my kids put that out there, and I don't, I don't, none of us even remember where it came from. <laughs> well, I saw a video online. Um, they would put like, uh, like seeds and stuff on the inside up here, and then the squirrel would put his head in, and it would look like it was a, uh, the oh. squirrel was wearing it. I don't know if that's what it's intended for, but, <laughs> but that's what the only thing that I ha know about it. So I don't know if that's what it's for or not, but. What kind of editing software do you use? Uh, DaVinci Resolve. Yeah. Sounds like you know a little bit about video editing or something. Pequito. <laughs> <laughs> I hear ya. What is it you edit? Or what is it you do? Oh, I don't. Um, oh, okay. My son yeah. and daughter-in-law, and then um, a fellow that I used to work for tried to do, he tried to do like a, um, point of view of um, working on cars and mm. working on equipment and stuff you know yeah that is super hard to do it is yeah it's, it's super hard to have your train of thought on the machine and it's super hard to have your train of thought on the camera work yeah it's i mean a lot of the times i just i just put it on and just see where the film looks <laughs> well, well sometimes we would be you know like i went to help them edit one time mm -hmm. We went to edit, we were sitting in the editing room and um, you know, let's say he's working on this, the camera was right here. <laughs> so so you could see about this much of the frame yeah. and it's like, dang man, <laughs> that was some good stuff. I know, you know that it's of. always disappointing whenever you miss the really good stuff and then you're like, oh, now I gotta figure out how to make that work. <laughs> uh, he was a cool guy. Also for the record, I almost wanted to say DaVinci Resolve because I always say DaVinci instead of DaVinci just because DaVinci is funny. Morning. How you doing? You? Doing pretty good. Planting a few pansies <laughs> in between. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. How's it been so far? Pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it's such a nice day. Oh, sure. it's a beautiful it's day. It's like perfect. <laughs> it's better than it was like a week ago because it was. It was probably. I mean, it was down. It felt like it was in the 40s. I know. <laughs> well, it was. Thursday, I think Thursday morning it was 39. Yeah. That was pretty chilly. That was that was rough. I mean, I'm I'm glad it's not you know 100 degrees. And exactly. 100 <laughs> humidity, but breeze keeps it going. Oh yes, the breeze is great. I will take these, um, but I gotta go grab a dollar for my car, so I'll be right back. Okay, that sounds great. There you Hope go. You enjoy yeah. for the holidays. Exactly. It'll make a good gift. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> I appreciate it. All <laughs> right. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, I wanted to buy this because she was sweet. And I feel kind of bad because she's way in the back. But those are nice. Spotting scope. What'd you have on the scope here? Huh? What'd you have on the spotting scope? Oh, now that is my echo. Let me go. Jeff! Ten? Yeah, I'll do ten on it. All right. Huh? 
What do you have on these, the belt buckles? I, I did. What do you want to pay? <laughs> Should you do a dollar a piece for them? No, I'll give you five for both. Five for both? Okay, yep. I'll okay. do it. Five. I was going to try to buy all this Christmas stuff here all together, but he wanted $40 for all of it. I don't think I could make my money back in time. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Good. You doing all right? Doing well. This guy ended up having a ton of stuff. I'm pretty sure he does something similar to what I do, or he's just a collector and has a ton of things. But I would venture to say that he's a reseller, especially with that giant light right there. Had quite the assortment of stuff. Yeah. And of course, you have to look at all the cool Star Wars stuff, because who doesn't love Star Wars? Hi, right, brother. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, good day. Wow, that's a big booty. <laughs> For a big beer. What'd you have on uh, Jeff Gordon here? Oh, three dollars. Okay. And then what about the uh, the Chevron cars? Uh, I was asking five for each, or if you buy um, all four of them, fifteen dollars. Okay. Four. Gotcha. I might end up doing that. Would you do uh, five for? Both of these, because you said three bucks on each? Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. There you are. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good one. And then I stopped by Quick Trip to grab a little bite to eat. Starting off with just a slice of pizza. And then I go and grab a Powerade. How you doing? Doing all right. How about yourself? Doing well. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir. Good one. This is the last estate stale that I stop at today. He's asking a dollar on all the DVDs, and uh, this one was a very interesting estate sale for sure. I pick up this little brand new Rubik's slide, but it is ten dollars, and there is no money left on that. Come in, come in. Hey, morning. And off to the right here, he has all these prints, but he's wanting forty-five dollars for the unframed ones and one hundred twenty-five okay. for the framed ones. That was insanely expensive. It's ridiculous. How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing well. One last yard sale. And there's a couple of cool things. There's a couple of posters over here to the left hand that I'm about to go see. Get some brand new chandeliers and stuff. A bunch of cool stuff over there. I do end up picking up the Detective Comics, the Batman, and that car photo down there for $3 a piece. But my GoPro dies. Well, there you have it. I went to, I think, three estate sales and probably maybe six or so garage sales. And that was about all I could find. So I wouldn't say garage sales are dead, but at least in my area, they are getting pretty tough. So YouTube thinks you'll like this video. So go ahead and click there if you want to see more. And I hope you all have an awesome day. Peace.